Hi beautiful souls, welcome back, or if you are new to the channel, welcome in. My name is Cade, and today I am back with another pick a card reading. And um, today's reading is going to be all about are you on the right path? So my intention with this video is to kind of let you know, are you moving in the right direction? Is there anything that you need to like change? Um, do you need to maybe go in the opposite direction? This is just kind of going to be a confirmation that you're moving in the right direction, that you're doing all of the right things, and that you are on the path that is going to make you the most successful, and that you're on the path that is going to make you the most happy that you can possibly be. Um, now, I don't think it's going to be a specific yes or no answer. I've noticed with spirit, it's rarely that simple. Um, um, there are also going to be a lot of different people that are going to be watching today's video So take everything I say with like a grain of salt if it resonates take that message and go with it But if something is not making sense or you just feel like it does not fit in your story Let it slide and only take the pieces that resonate with you your situation in your life um, Because I would never want anyone to leave here taking information that was not meant for them So kind of just be very open and just kind of take only the message that resonate with you and your specific story. So, um, before we get started, guys, I do want to mention that you can follow me on other social medias. I do have my TikTok link down below. Um, if you want to follow me on TikTok, I usually just post like little mini tarot readings on there um, just to kind of help you throughout your day. And if you want to connect with me a little bit more personally, I would suggest that you follow me on Instagram because I also post like more of my personal life on there if you want to connect with me more personally. Um, or, you know, you can just stay with me here on YouTube, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell just so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So today guys, um, we are going to be actually doing like a mermaid ocean theme. I don't know why I wanted to do this today. I was just like, you know what? Let's use the mermaid oracle cards and we're also going to be using the mermaid tarot cards. I don't know why I was just feeling that vibe today. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing. And um, we're actually going to be tuning into three different piles, um, which you see here in front of me. So you guys know me. Before you pick your pile, I always suggest to just kind of tune into the energy of this reading. Make sure your energy is very grounded. Make sure you're in a safe place that you feel energetically safe in. You know, I always say to just, you know, imagine roots coming out of the bottom of your feet. Just make sure you're feeling good and stable within your own energy. Also, I always suggest to call on your spirit guides to guide you to the pile or to the crystal that is most going to resonate with you, that is most going to resonate with your energy, and that is most going to help and heal you on your journey. So pile one, guys, is going to be the clear quartz crystal. So this is going to be pile number one. Take a moment to see if this resonates with you and your energy. Um, pile two is going to be the rose quartz heart. So this is going to be pile two. Pile number three is going to be this tumbled amethyst. This is going to be pile three. It's just a little piece of tumbled amethyst. And if you guys are looking for a place to get crystals, um, I do have my crystal shop linked down below if you guys want to check that out. That would be really, really awesome. So um, guys, take as much time as you need. Meditate on the piles. Ask your spirit guides to help you choose the pile that is most going to resonate with you. And the question that we are going to be asking the guides and um, spirit today is, are you on the right path? So I'm going to go ahead and jump into pile number one, which is the clear quartz crystal, and I will see the rest of you beautiful souls at your pile. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile one, or if you chose the clear quartz crystal, welcome in. So guys, today's reading is going to be all about are you on the right path? So I don't necessarily think spirit is going to bring through a clear yes or no answer. They may, you never know what spirit's going to do, but I think this is kind of going to be a more generalized reading on the direction that you're heading in, 
what the current trajectory of your life is, what spirit sees in the next couple of months for you. And I think ultimately the decision is going to be yours on whether or not that's the current path that you want to take. And I'm also kind of setting the intention that, you know, if you're feeling a little bit stuck, that spirit will kind of step in and give us, you know, some information on like what you can do, um, how to become more clear on what you do want and kind of how to become more clear on what you need to, you know, let go of in your life. So we're going to start, I keep hearing dandelion. So I don't know if that's a specific symbol for someone, but I am hearing that. Um, so we're going to start with the first card here and then we're going to dive into tarot. So your card is letting go. Okay. Letting go is the card that you got pile number one. So let's talk about what this means. What does letting go mean? I think letting go is kind of saying here in your reading that um, your life is looking more up than it has been in the past. Your life is looking more positive than it has been in the past is what Spirit is saying. They are saying that you have started to feel better than you have in the past. It's almost this feeling of, for once, Spirit is saying, maybe you start to see the light. There is this feeling that I'm getting from you, Pile 1, is that like, maybe I'm starting to see the light. But you're kind of questioning like, is this right? Like, am I really going to start to feel better? Am I really going to start to see the light at the end of the tunnel? And Spirit is saying, yes, you are correct. It's like this feeling of like, um, it's like you are starting to feel good again. It's like, I almost feel like you guys have been through so much in your life, which hence letting go, you have had to let go of so many things. Some of these things, it was your choice to let go of other things fell out of your life without you even having to do anything about them. I just feel like in general with letting go, there's been a lot of loss because even when a friend leaves our life, we still have to go through that grieving process. Even if we didn't make the choice, like when someone leaves our life, when anything leaves our life, we have to go through that grieving process. And what I'm getting from you is you've been through the grieving process. Like you know what loss is is what I'm getting from the letting go card. You have had to let go of so many things and you have had to come to this conclusion that I have to be okay alone and I have to be okay in my own energy and I have to be okay in my own skin. And I think you guys are coming to a place where you're starting to feel comfortable on your own. And I think this is a really, really, really positive thing because you almost have recognized that I'm almost seeing this growth throughout your life, Pile 1, of like, you started your life where you heavily relied on friendships and you heavily relied on relationships, but why do I want to say, Pile 1, that you've come to this place where it's like, you're okay with looking at yourself in the mirror and only seeing you? Like, if that makes sense, like, you don't expect anyone to be beside you anymore because in the past you've realized all people do is disappoint you. And so, it's not that you don't want anyone in your life. I think you're only, you know, what I'm getting here is you're not chasing someone to be in your life. If someone wants to show up for you, you're going to accept that. You're going to allow them to be in your life. But at the same time, if someone wants to walk out of your life, you're letting them go. If something wants to walk out of your life, if a job, you know, leaves or you get, leaves your life or how do I word that? If you get fired from a job or something like that, it's like you're letting go of the things that don't want to hold on to you you know, and you're, you, you're kind of coming to this, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into tarot, but it's almost, you're coming to this place of surrenderance. That's kind of the word that I would say for you. Pile one is like, you're learning how to surrender and you're kind of almost learning how to just give up control a little bit. You almost are at this place where you're just kind of looking up in the sky. You're looking up at spirit and going, whatever is meant for me will not pass me. And you're kind of being open to whatever that is. And anything that is not meant to be in my life will leave my life. And so the things that are leaving your life, you're accepting that. It's almost like you're coming to this place of acceptance. It's like, if you don't want to show up for me, if you don't want to be in my life, that's fine. But I'm, I'm done showing up for you because it's a waste of my time and it's a waste of my energy. So I do want to dive into tarot. 
it's almost this feeling of like pile one is like you could just go to a restaurant and eat alone. Like that's the energy that I'm getting is like I'm perfectly fine going to a restaurant and eating alone. You know what I'm saying? So I am going to dive into tarot spirit because I want to dive a little bit deeper into are you on the right path? Um, I, I feel a yes here. I feel like you are on the right path is what I'm getting because how could you not be? If you're surrendering to spirit and you're letting go of the things that are leaving your life and you're accepting that things that want to be in your life, I don't see how you could be on the wrong path. Um, Let's see what the cards have to say. We're going to dive a little bit into tarot. So spirit, is pile one on the right path? Can we get some information about the path that pile one is on? We have the temperance card. Is it reverse or upright spirit? It's reverse. So temperance reverse. Okay. We have the death card, the knight of pentacles reverse. Is pile one on the right path? The fool. Interesting. Okay. So already showing up in your reading, we have this card right here, death. And I want to say that it kind of directly ties into letting go. And so I'm seeing this kind of energy in your reading where you're looking a new way. You're not looking to the past. I'm getting this feeling of like anything that is imbalanced, anything that is causing you to go backwards, you are no longer looking at it is what this feeling is. It's like, if you are not making progress in a certain area of your life, you're turning your head away from it. You're looking for things that are actually going to be there for you permanently. And I think with this death card, it's almost like you guys for the longest time have been holding on to like dead weight. And it's this feeling that I feel like you're doing right now, of like you're, you're letting go of dead weight. It's like this energy of like cleaning out your closet, cleaning out your house, letting go of, um, things that are just taking up space, things that don't serve you. They don't do anything for you. They don't give you anything. They don't give you any excitement. They don't give you any love. It's like they literally just sit there and take up your space. That's what I see you guys letting go. Like you are in this process of like cleaning out the dirty laundry, like getting all that away and letting go of everything so that you can have this fresh start. The full coming up in your reading is so... It, it resonates so much with even your first card of letting go because the fool is all about letting go. It's all about giving up everything and starting new. Look, they all they have is a stick and a bag. That's it. And that's what I'm feeling from you. You're literally cleaning out everything so that you can have this chance to start a new life. And so what I would say to you, Pile One, if you have been waiting for a new beginning and you have been waiting to feel good again and you've been waiting to feel a fresh, light, clean, kind of like a fresh start, that's how I would describe your energy, Pile One, is like you almost have this opportunity to start again is, is kind of the energy that I'm getting. You have this... Um, you have this chance to begin a new chapter in your life. You have this chance to let go of everything and start new. It's almost like I feel like some of you could possibly be moving very soon. And if that is the direction that you want to go in, I would say to take the leap of faith. Anything that has been scaring you, take that leap of faith. Because I feel like for you, pile number one, I feel like for the longest time you have been holding on to things that, you know, were, were like comfortable for you. You were holding on to relationships that were comfortable, but what you realize is like all these people that I'm hanging around with, they don't want to move forward. I do. And so it's like you're letting go of things that are not allowing you to move forward. I'm getting this 
um, intu intuitive like vision of like um, it's almost like they show you hanging around like a group of friends and they're all talking amongst themselves and you just look around and you're like I don't even relate to these people anymore it's almost like a lot of the things that you used to relate to you don't relate to them anymore you've become like this brand new person and I would say that's because of all that you've been through because of possibly the death that you have experienced in your life because of all you know the endings that you have been through it's almost allowed you to become a brand new person like you are not the same person you were a couple of years ago and um I don't know I'm getting with this full energy it's like you having a chance at a new beginning a fresh start meeting new people new friends new relationships and I think that's the direction that you need to go in going in the direction of new if, it, if it's different, if it's new, that's what you need to be doing right now. Don't do anything that is in your comfort zone. It's kind of this feeling that I'm getting. I do want to clarify these cards. I want to clarify temperance in the reverse, spirit. Let me get one card, please, spirit, for temperance in the reverse. Temperance in the reverse. Let's see. We have the three of cups. We have death, what is death? We have the chariot, the knight of pentacles, please. The two of cups, we have the fool, the fool. We have judgment reverse, okay. I know exactly what this is saying. Okay, so what I'm wanting to say guys with temperance in the reverse, temperance in the reverse can be an imbalanced energy and with the three of cups clarifying that, I want to say that some of your relationships in your life are imbalanced and that's what you're, you've been struggling with is letting go of relationships that are imbalanced. I want to say that some of you have struggled with that of like giving people more than they give you or being there for people more than they're there for you. Um, I think that's been a big struggle in your life. Then I'm not even just talking about romantic relationships. For a lot of you, I feel like these are friendships. Um, but it shows, and it's almost like this feeling some of you may have of like, you know, being scared to let people go because there's also this fear of like, I don't want to be lonely. And I think a lot of you have possibly been struggling with that for a long time of like, but I also don't want to be lonely. It's kind of the energy that I'm getting. Um, but this feeling that I'm getting with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse with the Two of Cups is like, why would I commit my energy to a relationship? Or why would I commit my energy to a person that does not commit their energy to me? And I think for the longest time, you've been getting this inner calling to move away from certain people. And you've been getting this inner calling to let go of certain people and to move in this new direction. I feel like with Judgment in the reverse, you're being called to do something but you haven't done it yet. It's like you're almost kind of like covering up that intuitive nudge that you're getting. It's like you're getting the intuitive nudge, but you're almost not like following through with it because, you know, I feel like for you to move in this new direction, it does require you to end certain things in your life, but the death card is clarified by the chariot. So it shows that once the thing ends, once you let go, there's nothing holding you back anymore with the chariot. The chariot can also suggest some sort of move coming up for you, moving in a direction that only serves you. I almost feel like a lot of you have been holding yourselves back because of certain relationships in your life. But in terms of the question, are you on the right path? Yes. But I think for the longest time, you didn't realize that the right path for you was supposed to serve you. I think you guys always thought that you always had to give away all your energy and that you just had to be there for others. And if you weren't serving other people, then that was selfish. But now you're recognizing, excuse me, my voice. Now you're recognizing it's okay to be a little bit selfish, you know? And I think with this full card and you also have the two of cups and the three of cups, I see a lot of you finding 
you know, a, a committed partner for the first time in forever. And it's probably because you're maybe moving to a new town or you're moving to a new city. Maybe you're opening up your options a little bit more, or maybe you're finally letting go of that toxic ex. You know what I mean? And once you let go of that toxic ex, you open yourself up to that new person that can treat you 10 times better. And with the three of cups here, I'm also getting this energy of possibly meeting a new friend group, possibly meeting new friends at a new job that you get. And I think this is all about to show up for you. I see new friends coming up in your life pile number one I see possibly a new romantic partner coming up in your life And I think this is all because you took that step to say I'm important and like these people that I'm hanging around with don't treat me with respect or this partner that I've been hanging around with doesn't treat me with respect and so it took a little bit of courage but you finally cut the cord and you're allowing for new cords to be created is kind of the energy that I'm getting for you, pile number one. So are you on the right path? Absolutely. And I want to say that you're on the right path for the first time in like forever. Like I feel like it's been a long time coming, you know, but I really do see that things are going to start finally looking up for you, pile number one. And so what I want to do is I want to get you some cards, um, some surrender cards. What do you need to surrender? Pile one is kind of the question that we're asking. What do you need to surrender? Which I already think you've done a very good surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. You know, I think some of you have possibly had this inner awakening within yourself. You know, when we don't think very highly of ourselves, it's easy to let other people treat us badly because we treat ourselves badly. But I think the shift in the beliefs that you have about yourself is kind of making you realize that, you know, you deserve better and that you deserve more. And I think that's all coming from within. I think that shift is taking place within you because I can see that you're surrendering beliefs about yourself. It says, let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar into life. And I think letting go could also be tied into letting go old stories and old patterns from your past so that you can have this this new beginning, this fresh start. Let's see, what else does pile one need to surrender? Surrender to setting limits. I think you've also realized that, you know, I think with this setting limits card, it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. I think it says practice expressing your needs. That ties into the whole entire reading of like people not being there for what you need. And I think with surrender to setting limits, I think a lot of you thought that this was the end of the road at one point. Like some of you looked around at your life and you thought this is it, like this is all I'm ever gonna have. But I think you've had this inner awakening that said, you know, you don't have to just settle for this garbage of a person or you don't have to just settle for this, you know, shitty job. And I think you've had this shift in perception of like, I can want more in my life and I can create more in my life and I no longer have to set a limit for myself. If I don't want to be with a shitbag person, I can go find a better person. And I think you've had all of these epiphanies over the past couple of years or maybe over the past couple of months, which is why I think all of this new stuff is about to show up in your life. So let's see, is there anything else for pile number one spirit? I think that's it, okay? So pile number one, let me know if this resonated with you. Make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a brand new video and I'm gonna go to move on to pile number two. Hi, beautiful souls that chose pile two or if you chose the rose quartz heart, 
Welcome in. So today's reading is going to be about are you on the right path? And my intention for this reading is to not necessarily get like a yes or a no, but just to kind of show the current trajectory of where you're going. Is there anything that you need to change? Is there anything that needs to shift for you? And just kind of figure out are you moving in the right direction? And are you moving in a direction where you are going to be the most happy in your life? So we're going to start with this card and then we're going to move into tarot and just kind of go from there okay pile two so you got magic i love this card to start your reading magic what i'm getting from magic is it's very much an energy of recognizing that you have something special to offer the world is definitely the energy that I'm picking up with magic and it's also recognizing your unique abilities and your unique talents and like what you're good at. I'm also feeling with this magic card that you're seeing that like you also have superpowers like you may not be in the NBA, you may not be in the NFL, you may not be like you know Taylor Swift or Beyonce but you're recognizing that like I can have my own little slice of heaven too is kind of this energy that I'm getting is like I may not be the most popular you know person in my field of work I may not be the most noticed but it's also recognizing that like what am I trying to say it's this feeling of like you don't have to be the biggest superstar in the world to make a difference. And I think that you're starting to recognize that you as an individual impact people's lives. You know, whether it be on a very, very large scale or just talking to someone in the grocery store or just like talking to someone at work. It's like you're seeing that every little conversation that you have on a daily basis impacts people in a way that you never thought you would be able to impact people. And so you might not be, you know, like up on a stage in front of like thousands of people, but you're recognizing that you matter too. And even your, you know, I'm getting like even what am I trying to say? Even your day-to-day -day impact matters. You don't have to be the most popular. You don't have to be the most recognized. Like, even if you have a thousand followers and they are getting something from your work, that matters too. You might have 5,000, 10,000 followers. Maybe you don't have any followers at all. Maybe you're just healing your family members or maybe, you know, you're just talking to that random person and you help change their day. Or maybe you're just talking to, you know, a friend and you help change their day or you help change their mindset. It's this feeling, spirit keeps saying you don't have to be the biggest, like you don't have to be the the most followed person to make an impact. So I don't know if some of you have been struggling with that, like feeling like you haven't done enough or like you don't have a big enough platform to do what you want to do. But Spirit is saying even if you can impact one person a day, that matters too. Because I think for the longest time you guys may have felt like that you didn't matter or like that there was no purpose for you or like you didn't have anything special about you. But I think there's been this change in your belief system and you're starting to see like, wow, I'm powerful. And like, you know, I have superpowers too. And I have magic all right here within me. And you're starting to see, you know, really you're starting to see your power. You're starting to see for some of you, your spiritual abilities or maybe just like your worth. Maybe it's just very generalized. Maybe you're just starting to see like, you know, I'm a good person. Maybe it's just that simple. But I feel like you are starting to see the impact that you have on people's lives and that you matter. I don't know who needs to hear that, but it's like this feeling of like, you're starting to see that you matter. And I think for the longest time, you guys may have wallowed in self-pity and been like, you know, no one listens to me, no one notices me, but then the next thing you know, someone's, you know, sending you an email or a text message or they're calling you and telling you, without you, I wouldn't have been able to get through this. Or maybe you post a video online and you get that one comment that says, I needed this so much right now. Maybe you do readings and you get that one comment that says, 
without you, I don't think I would have been able to make it through this day. And you start to realize, wow, people need me on this earth. So I don't know if some of you have struggled. I'm really picking up this energy. Maybe some of you have struggled with like, you know, anxiety, like I'm trigger warning, I'm hearing eating disorder and just feeling like maybe you don't deserve to be on this planet. And I think there's this shift of where you're saying like, holy shit, like God created me. Like he thought or she thought, you know, God is a woman, Ariana Grande, but that, you know, the creator of everything thought that a, like you mattered. You know what I'm saying? Like in the whole span of thing, in the whole span of things, the creator said the world needs one of you. You know what I'm saying, Pile 2? I'm kind of getting that general idea of like, out of, you know, all the people that were made, the creator said, we need one of you too. And I think that's so beautiful. Um, and I think a lot of you need to realize that. It's like, out of all the people that could have been made, out of every possible combination of what that person's personality could have, you know, could have been or whatever, like you, like, I don't know why that I'm channeling through this. Like, this is what the guides are saying. The creator thought that the world needed one of you. So really look at that, guys. And the next time you're starting to feel ungrateful, you know, really appreciate that you were given the body that you were given. A lot of times we like to make fun of ourselves and we like to say everything that's wrong with us and we like to criticize the physical vessel, but it's only here for a short period of time to allow us to live this human experience. And I'm getting pile two, you need to appreciate the human experience more because in any split second, it could be gone. And I think myself included, we do not appreciate the, the life that we've been given, the breath that we've been given, you know, all the things that we take for granted, you know, the eyes being able to hear all of these different things. So the next time, you know, you want to look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, I'm not beautiful. Think again and appreciate the physical vessel that you've been giving so that your soul could experience this human life, you know, because we might as well appreciate it while we can. So let's take a look. Are you on the right path? I think there's this feeling of a lack of appreciation for what you've been given. I'm not trying to be, I'm being a little bit blunt, but that's how spirit's kind of coming across is that like appreciate the talent that you've been given. You know, maybe some of you, the example that I can think of is maybe you're a singer. Appreciate the voice that you've been given, you know? Look in the mirror and see something that you actually like about yourself and appreciate that, you know? So let's see. I, I want to say pile two specifically. I want to say that some of you have maybe been struggling with like feeling a lack of like, I'm not enough of this. I'm not enough of that. I don't have enough of this instead of just coming at it from a place of, well, what do I have? And I think that's how you're going to be able to create more is looking at what do I have? I think a lot of times I'm getting another channel message pile to you're always looking at like, what skill do I need to get where I need to go? What else do I need to learn to get where I need to go? Instead of saying, well, maybe I don't need to learn anything. What tools do I have right now that I can utilize to get to the place where I want to go? You know, we can wallow in self-pity and be like, I don't have enough of this. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not blah, 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 blah. Or we could look at what we've been given in this life. We could look at the amount of money we have. We could look at the talents that we have and say, well, how can I use my current abundance to create more? And I think that's what you guys need to start doing is maybe even looking at the little amount you have and seeing how can I use this amount that I've been given to create more instead of always seeing the lack of. And, you know, I want to say that you guys are always seeing what's empty in your life instead of seeing everything that's all filled up. So spirit, pile two, please. Are they on the right path? Let's see. Um, this card fell out in the last pile, so I just want to make sure that, um, you know, Spirit is aware that we are on the pile two of the tarot cards. It will fall out again if it's mint. So let's see, pile two, please, Spirit. 
so many cards are flying out. Let's get one card to start us off for pile two. Okay, perfect. The Hierophant, interesting. We have the, okay, the High Priestess. Okay, this is definitely a very spiritual pile. I want to say that, okay, the star in the reverse. Okay, I know exactly like what this is trying to say. Um, I think, okay. Um, this is a very spiritual pile. I want to first and foremost say that, especially with the High Priestess and the Hierophant. Like, you guys have major psychic abilities, and your intuition is, like, insanely accurate. Um, and maybe some of you have been struggling with seeing that. Others of you, maybe you are starting to see the worth within yourself. But what I'm getting here is that you're focusing too much on what you don't have. You're focusing too much on what you need more of instead of just using what you already have. I'm getting this feeling from you, Pile 2, is like, be resourceful. Like, be more resourceful. Like, for example, like, say you want to film a video, like, you don't necessarily always need the best camera. Like, use what you have. Like, if you just have to use your phone, just use your phone for now. And then slowly and surely you can upgrade. But it's like, I think we always put a pause to what we want to do in life because we always feel like we could have, you know, maybe I could have a little bit more of this or maybe I could have a little bit more of this, or maybe I should go back to school and learn a little bit more. But it's like this feeling, I don't know, I'm just, I don't even really have to read the cards, it's coming through intuitively, it's like, use what you have today to create what you want tomorrow. You know, stop waiting for tomorrow for that thing to show up, just use whatever you have today. Um, I would say with the Nine of Pentacles, you oftentimes, you know, view yourself as not being very abundant and you oftentimes view yourself as like having less than other people. And I think especially with the star card in the reverse, there is sometimes a lack of hope for your future because there's this feeling of like, well, I don't have enough to create the future that I want to create. But it's like, I'm also getting with magic is you need to use more you know, law of attraction. You need to use more manifestation techniques. It's like sometimes you'll be in a place where you feel like, you know, that'll never be possible until you start visualizing it and using, you know, the energy from source. I'm getting that you guys need to channel energy from the guides. You need to channel energy from your spirit guides to get where you want to go, pile two. I would say, are you on the right path? Um, you know, it's in between. I think you could be as long as you want to see the hope for your future. I think a lot of times some of you don't see a hopeful future. You don't see that you can create simply from using law of attraction. And I think sometimes file two, you don't see that you can create simply by channeling through the energy of source. And what I mean by source is like channeling through your spirit guides. I think a lot of times file two, I'm getting this very practical energy from you. It's like, if I can't see it, if I can't feel it, if I can't touch it, if I can't taste it, then it doesn't exist and that's not true. If you can visualize what you want, if you can start seeing the life you wanna create, and I don't know what that is, that's for you to decide, pile two. If you can start visualizing what you wanna create, the world will start responding with that. If you can start visualizing, you know, I, this is, I'm gonna use a car as an example because it's just the top of, off the top of my head. If you can start visualizing the car you want and you can start visualizing it and you can start feeling the feelings of how you would feel if you had that car, your vibration is instantly going to rise. It is going to be in alignment with the car and you will manifest it. You're currently not at the vibration pile two of what you want to manifest. You want to manifest abundance, but you're not in an abundance mindset. And that's the difference. It's like you want to manifest something that you are not vibrationally aligned with. You have to feel it before you have it. So it's like you have to feel rich before you are rich. And I'm not saying you want money. I'm trying to use another example. Um, maybe you just want, you know, I'm going to say financial freedom, okay? You have to feel financially free before you become financially free. You can't be in a lack state of mind and then expect to manifest abundance. You have to be 
in an abundant state of mind and then you will manifest abundance. And so some of you are gonna say, well, how do I do that? Well, you start to notice the things that are abundant in your life. If you can start to say, well, let's look at what I do have. I have an amazing, you know, I have amazing hair. I love my hair, it's beautiful. I have an amazing singing voice or maybe, you know, I'm a really good people person. I'm really good at talking to people or, you know, I'm um, really good at drawing or maybe you're really good at intuition. Maybe you're really good at channeling something. You have to be good at something. If you can start noticing all the things that you do have, trust me, you're going to just start manifesting more and more. But when you start to pinpoint everything that's missing, you're going to remain in that lower vibration, which is why you're struggling with your wishes coming true. Because I feel like with the star card in the reverse, you guys are almost feeling like, well, where's my wish? Where's my abundance? Where's my manifestation? It doesn't work like that. You have to be in the vibration of what you want before it shows up in your life. Um, is kind of what I'm getting. I think pile two, go watch a law of attraction video because that's what you need most right now. I think the only thing stopping you pile two from manifesting the life that you want is your mindset. You have it all within you. You are the be you are, you have all the answers. The high priestess is a card of having all the answers, but it's almost this feeling of you have always seen yourself as like, not being abundant and so that's what you create. It's like when we visualize ourselves as not being abundant, it's impossible to create abundance. And so look up Joe Dispenza, I think is his name. Start shifting your mindset and your entire life will change because your energy is very powerful with the magic card. The magic card is kind of giving me magician energy. It's like saying you are the manifester right now. And yes, that means neg negative things too. And I think a lot of you are almost like manifesting negative things because maybe you've been complaining a lot lately or you haven't been as grateful as you should lately. Um, we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. It's almost like um, the things that you are communicating are not in alignment with the things that you wanna create. And so that's where the universe is gonna get confused. Because if in your mind you're wanting a successful business, but all you do is talk shit about your business and say, oh, we never get this, we never get sales, we never get orders, like you're going to create that. It's like you are the writer of your script. You are the director and you have to choose how you wanna put on this show. If you wanna keep talking down about yourself and you wanna talk down about everything you do, so be it, you can do that, but you're not gonna get what you want, okay? You have to start, start shifting your mindset. You have to start changing the way you think. Three of Wands reverse, justice, and the star card, two of cups. Okay, so that did come out at the beginning of the reading. I'm getting this feeling with justice and the two of cups. It's this feeling that I'm getting of like, the universe is going to give you what you give it. Especially with the two of cups, it's this equal exchange. So if you're putting in like the energy of like, oh, I'm never gonna be successful, that energy is going to boomerang back to you. You know what I'm saying? And I also feel like, I think you guys, um, I'm gonna go into a whole nother thing here with this reading, but it's like, I think you guys want to create you know, a lot for yourself. I feel like you are very big dreamers is kind of this feeling that I'm getting, but I think oftentimes you start to like doubt yourself and you start to doubt your vision and you start to doubt your plan. And so I think sometimes you slip back into old patterns or you slip back into old thinking patterns, but it's like, keep your eye on the big picture. Keep visualizing every day the big picture of what you want your life to be. And with this reading right here, Spirit says you can create it. You are the magician. You are the manifester. You, excuse me, I'm so sorry, guys. You hold all the power. And so if you hold all the power, you can do what you want with it. You can create something super positive and amazing but if you hold all the power and you're speaking negatively, that power is not gonna be used in a good way. So it's like, pay attention to like, what you're saying about yourself, pay attention to what you're saying about like your life, and like, 
you know, when you start to think those negative thoughts, change them to a positive one and you'll be able to create exactly what you're looking for. So let's see what you need to surrender pile number two. I feel like I got into a little like, um, oh my gosh, I can literally, I can't make this up. Like I literally cannot make this up. Oh my gosh, surrender negative thinking. I'm sorry guys, sometimes I'm just like, wow. I'm so amazed by the way spirit just like brings through the message. It's like, you have control over your thoughts. When a negative thought surfaces, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. I'm done. That's it. That's the reading. Like, oh my gosh. Like, spirit just clarified everything that I literally was channeling. And it's just so amazing. Like, that was insane, guys. What just happened there. Like, this is literally what we've been talking about the whole reading. And this card just flew out to clarify that. So... Yeah, that was insane, guys. Um, I had an amazing time reading for you. Um, I hope this is able to help you and guide you in some way, shape, or form. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number three. Hi, beautiful souls. That chose pile three. Or if you chose the amethyst tumbled stone, welcome in. Today, we are going to be seeing, are you on the right path? Um, so I'm not sure if it's going to be a specific yes or no answer or if spirit is just kind of going to give us guidance on what direction you're currently headed in, but we're going to start with your first card and then we're going to jump into some tarot. So pile three, we start with the light card, the light card. Okay. So this card is very much giving me an energy of... This is giving me an energy of you know who you are, or for some of you, you know who you want to be. You know what you want to do. You know who you want to be. You know what you want to say. You know the truth that you want to speak, so go speak it. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting from this card is like, you have spent so much time in you know, hiding, maybe in like a hermit mode, and you've just been sitting there almost with all of these ideas, all of these things, and it's like this feeling of go do it. Go do it. That's the feeling that I'm getting. It's like, you know what you want to do. You know who you want to be. You know how you want to show up in the world. So go show up. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Go show up. Okay, that's the first message that is strongly coming through with this card is like, go do it. No more waiting, no more procrastination, no more, you know, brainstorming. It's not that time. It's the time to like go do it, to finally, you know, put yourself out there, show the world, you know, who you are. I'm getting this strong energy pile three that you kind of know like a lot of what you want to do it is this feeling of like, I think most of you have been through, you know, the whole healing process. And I think most of you, what I'm getting from you pile through, most of you know who you are. Like, you don't need much advice from me. Like, I think you've been working on yourself for quite some time. It's like, I, so I, I kind of want to get some tarot to see like why there would be any hesitancy with taking that leap of faith. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. It's almost like we need to, let's see, what is this? Reading, hold on. We have the Tower card reverse. We also have the World. I'm getting this feeling of what are you waiting for? is kind of the energy that I'm getting. The four of pinnacles in the reverse is very much an energy of why are we holding ourselves back anymore? The four of pinnacles talks all about hoarding energy. Why are you hoarding your energy? Why are you keeping all of your energy to yourself when there are so many people out there that need you, that need everything that you're going to offer the world? So why are we hoarding our energy? Why are we keeping all of the energy to ourselves? I almost feel like you know all of this. It's like, I, I don't even need to tell you, you know 
what the right answer is. I want to say for you, Pile 3, you are very intuitive. I'm just strongly feeling it like you're very intuitive. You receive guidance. You get ideas. You know what your guides are saying to you. Like, trust it. Go with it. They're like, yep, go with it. We're talking to you. We're speaking to you. So why aren't you listening to us? Why aren't you going with it? Why aren't you trusting it and taking that leap of faith? And what I want to say for some of you is like, maybe you have already taken a leap of faith, you know, and maybe like you're moving in that direction where you're starting to speak up for yourself and you're starting to speak your truth and you're starting to shine your light and you're starting to share your energy with other people. I do feel like with this tower card in the reverse, it's this feeling of maybe like in the past, there were a lot of things that kind of fell through for you or there were a lot of things that didn't work out. But what I'm getting is spirit saying, you don't have to worry about that anymore. You don't have to be in control of everything anymore. Nothing is going to fall apart. But I do think there is this fear that something bad is going to happen or that people aren't going to like you or that people aren't going to listen to you. But I think those are just excuses, pile three. Because what I'm getting with this tower card in the reverse there is no danger. There isn't. Nothing is falling apart. Nothing is going in the wrong direction. You're just a little bit scared. Okay. It's kind of the energy that I'm getting. I feel like with the world card here, I'm not necessarily getting that a cycle is concluding. I'm more so getting that you need to share something with the world, especially with light. It makes me think that you need to be seen by someone or you need to like speak up for yourself or you need to show the world who you truly are. That's the general sense that I'm getting. So it's like, if you've been waiting to click upload, go click upload. If you've been waiting to like push the big red button, that kind of energy, go push the big, big red button. Spirit is saying nothing bad is going to happen. Okay. I think similar to, um, let me see what else I'm getting. I think we had the Ace of Swords that wanted to fall out on the bottom of the deck. So I think kind of how that resonates with this reading is just like speaking truth. The Ace of Swords is all about communication. It's all about clarity. It's all about saying something. Why are you not saying anything, Pile 3? That is all I'm getting for you. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not feeling like you're on the wrong path. I'm getting like you need to be freaking shoved. Like go out there. It's this feeling of like someone being stage fright. Okay, that's kind of the energy that I'm getting. It's like, you're scared to show up. Why are you scared to show up? You know, why are you afraid to, you know, be yourself? Why are you afraid to show the world the real you? It's like you, you literally just need someone to like shove you on stage and say, you know, get out there, go do it. Because right now I can see a little bit of inner turmoil, maybe like some nerves or maybe a little bit of fear where you're like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. I'm about to puke. I'm so nervous. But it's like, once you get out on stage and once you start doing your thing, I promise you're going to flow into this perfect rhythm because this is what you were always meant to do. It almost feels like there is something in your life, Pile 3, that you know you were born to do. Like with the light card here, it's like you were born to do this thing. You were the world was meant to see you do whatever this is. And I, I wish I could get more specific, but um, this is for a lot of different people. So I feel like that's why spirit's keeping it kind of general so that can relate to more people. Let's see what the four of pentacles is. You have the page of pentacles reverse and you have the three of pentacles reverse. The tower card says is um, the eight of cups reverse. Let's see, what is the tower card? The Eight of Swords reverse. The world. Okay. The world. And then, so bottom deck energy is King of Wands. So I'm going to put that somewhere. I'll put that over here. And clarifying the world, we have the Nine of Cups and the High Priestess. Okay. So this is pretty clear to me what this is saying. So the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse says that for you to create something, you have to put energy into it. And that again is where I feel like, you know, we're kind of hoarding our energy to create the business that you want to create or to create the life that you want to create. 
the life needs your energy to create the dreams you want to create. Your dreams need your attention. So I feel like how to get on the right path, Pile 3. Start putting focus into what you're passionate about. Start putting focus into like things that you've been putting on the back burner. It's time. Spirit is like saying, let's get the ball rolling. You know, it's, I feel this energy with you. It's always like, well, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it next week or eventually I will do it. Mm -mm. It's like, nope, right now it's time. Because I feel like, again, the tower card with the eight of swords, the eight of swords is all about being stuck up in our head. And I think there is this feeling of disaster, you know, always being scared that something's gonna fall apart or something's gonna go wrong. And it's like, you just have to push past that fear and go create the fucking life that you were meant to create. You were meant to be a star for some of you. Like, Spirit is saying you were meant to be a star. You were meant to shine. And I'm not saying you have to have millions of followers to do that but you're meant to fucking do something. And I feel like for some of you, it could be intuitive work with the high priestess. Maybe you're meant to channel through messages and give messages like intuitive messages. Maybe some of you with the page of pentacles and the three of pentacles, maybe you want to get into business with someone. Maybe you want to start a new business. Maybe you want to invest some of your money into something and spirit is like, fuck yeah, go do that. Because the king of wands reverse and the wheel of freaking fortune on the bottom of the deck says that you set your sights on your destiny. Okay. There is something that you are freaking destined to do. And that's what spirit wants you to focus on right now. I'm literally strongly feeling that. And it's like, I'm going to leave these two cards out because I'm also feeling that with the nine of cups, this is something that makes you feel so freaking good. Like on an emotional level, like you feel so fulfilled by it with the nine of cups. Like it just makes you feel so good. Are you going to let fear get in the way of making you feel good? No, we're not going to do that anymore. That's not how we live our lives anymore. Not on this channel. We don't live like that anymore. You guys know me. In all of my readings, I give that pep talk. And this is your pep talk to say, fucking go for it. The destiny that you are meant to create for yourself, go for it. Dream big with the king of wands. Start taking action on whatever you want to take action on. It's, it's so that time to not be holding yourself back anymore, especially out of fear. I feel this very timid energy from you, pile one especially with this girl on this card kind of holding her arm. It's like she's almost kind of scared in a way. It's like she knows she's good at it, but she's like just, there's just like fear. It doesn't feel like you don't know you're worth it. It feels more like you're just like a little scared to put yourself out there, which is completely understandable. But you can't let fear hold you back from doing something that you were born to do. And that's the kind of feeling that I'm getting for you, Pile 3, is like you're sort of letting your own anxieties and your own fears and your own demons demons hold you back from doing something that your soul incarnated on this earth to do. Like there is something very specific about this lifetime where if you looked into the Akashic records that says this lifetime and specifically this person, this soul was meant to incarnate in this body and do this very specific thing. And it feels like for some of you, you know what this specific thing is and you're not doing it. So it's like, you can say all you want, you know, I trust spirit. Do you trust them enough to take a risk? Do you trust them enough to say, fuck the fear? Spirit's telling me that this is going to work out. You know, we can talk all day about, I trust my intuition. I trust, you know, my guides, but do you trust them enough to push past the fear that your ego is communicating to you? Your guides are telling you it's going to work out. So why are you listening to your ego that says everything's going to fall apart? you got to start listening to what your intuition is telling you versus what that fearful ego is wanting you to do. Because the ego is going to say everything that could go wrong. The ego is going to tell you everything that could fall apart. And your guides are going to tell you, no, that's not true. And so who are you going to listen to? is the, is kind of the energy that I'm getting pile three. Who are you going to listen to? Are you going to listen to your fears and your demons that haunt you in the middle of the night? Are you going to listen to that positive uplifting voice that's telling you you're going to be so successful? I would listen to the voice that's saying you're going to be successful. It sounds a lot better to me. 
Surrender to prayer. Trust. Surrender to prayer. You've asked them for the answer. They've given you the answer. Now you have to trust it. I feel like support is showing up for you. You prayed for support and now it's showing up for you and you're not trusting it. It's almost like spirit is holding something out to you, but it's a little bit outside of your comfort zone. But if you would just trust it and take that leap of faith, even though it's a little bit scary, you would see that this scary thing that is presenting itself to you was the answer to your prayers. Let's see, we also have surrender your attachment to results. I think some of you are so focused on, is it gonna be successful? Is it gonna make a lot of money that you're losing the big picture? And what you also need to understand with this surrender to results card is that what is meant for you will never pass you. Will never pass you. It will not pass you. Whatever is meant for you will not pass you. So if you would just release your attachment to what it's supposed to look like, if you would release your attachment to what the end goal is supposed to be, spirit will guide you exact in the exact direction that you need to go in. It's just about you, you know, spirit is saying release your grip around it a little bit and go with the flow a little bit more and stop listening to fear so much and and just kind of go with the flow go with the flow go with the flow is what they keep saying um so is there anything else for pile number three you they're just saying you have to stop listening to that voice in your head that says you're not good enough because that's what's controlling you right now pile three so let me know if this resonated. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video and I will see all of you beautiful souls on the next one. Bye guys.